Hello everyone, it's Seiji and today I will be recommending horror slash creepy comics. I read and love all of these, so I'm really excited to talk about them. So let's just jump into it. The first two I would like to show you are actually by the same artist slash writer. This is Uzumaki and Tomie by Junji Ito. I've read quite a lot of Ito's work and most of it I've really enjoyed. Most of his work is rather graphic and grotesque, so if you can't really stand that type of stuff then I, I wouldn't recommend these. Despite that, the stories are very unique and their storylines are really good. Uzumaki is a town that is cursed by the spiral. Yes, not a person, also not a monster, but a pattern. It's quite a peculiar story, but I really enjoyed seeing how this whole town got consumed by a, <laughs> a spiral. <laughs> This is actually quite a long manga, it has about 600 plus pages, so if you're looking for something shorter but still very creepy, I would recommend Tomie. Um, it's also quite big, but uh, this is just a collection of short stories. All of these stories centre a character called Tomie, who is described as a femme fatale. Men instantly fall in love with her, but that love quickly turns into an obsession which usually ends up with them killing Tomie. The thing is though that Tomie always comes back to life and she ends up being the demise of all these men. The next one is Through the Woods by Emily Carroll and I actually read this one last week. It is a collection of five stories, um, not too scary to be honest, though there was one with a dead woman that kind of creeped me out, but definitely worth a read, especially just the illustrations, they're absolutely stunning and so it was a pleasure to read this one. Also these stories are mainly about supernatural beings. Next up we have three comics from Archie Horror. So Archie Comics has this separate department where they focus on horror comics. So there you have Riverdale characters who suddenly are vampires or zombies or werewolves and they also publish Sabrina the Teenage Witch. So um, here are a few of my favourite, Afterlife with Archie. This comic was created by Roberto Aguere Zacasa as well as Francesco Francavilla and this is basically the zombie apocalypse in Riverdale. A very nice storyline, I'm very eager to read volume 2 and the art is amazing. Then I have two volumes of Jughead The Hunger. This is about Jughead finding out that he is part of a werewolf family and he finds out himself that he's a werewolf but also one of his friends turns out to be a werewolf hunter so um, that's interesting. <laughs> I really enjoyed them. I read volume one last year and I read volume two about two or three weeks ago but I do have to say that volume two things definitely become more interesting. In this one we get to know more about the history of the werewolves and the werewolf hunters and I thought that that was very interesting. The next one I want to talk about is Farmhand by Robert Galori. This is actually volume two, um, which I read a couple of weeks ago. I also read volume one when it came out, but um, on my iPad, so I don't have it with me here. This one is super interesting. It is about a family that owns an organ farm in the literal sense that they are growing plants that have organs as fruits. So like a kidney plant or a tree that grows arms. Now you might wonder, what could possibly go wrong with plant-based organs? Well, this comic will be able to explain that to you. <laughs> right now I'm really liking where the story is heading towards. It's not that creepy and it has quite some comedic elements in it, but um, at times it can get serious with some of the plant horror. Also again, love the art style. Now this is actually a comic that released its final volume a couple of weeks ago. It's The Divined plus The Wicked. The back actually sums it up quite well. Every 90 years, 12 gods return as young people. They are loved. They are hated. In two years, they are all dead. It's happening now. It's happening again. 
I would call this more of a dark fantasy. It's at times very gory, but like the storyline is so interesting. I love anything with guards. I say this <laughs> all the time and this is just a great read for spooky season. Now the last one is one of my all time favorites and it is Ice Cream Man. This is made by W. Maxwell Prince, Martin Morazzo and Chris O'Halloran. The best way I could describe it would be just an anthology series that focuses on a demonic ice cream man and it's super unique because every single story is so vastly different. Each has such a distinct style and it just amazes me every single time I read it how well everyone is crafted. There are currently three volumes out. This is the third one. I read the first and the second one online. All of them are amazing and I would definitely recommend this. Well, those were all of my spooky, creepy comic recommendations. Let me know if you saw something interesting or if you've read a few already. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.